We have picked a fine place for a rest stop, Dmitri. I agree, Ivan. Um, but uh, what's happening now? What has happened, Tsarovich, is you've been attacked by an AGM-45 Alpha using the WRCS Direct Mode. Today we're going to address the execution of a Shrek attack using the WRCS system in a direct profile. And we'll cover these topics here. What it is, how to set it up, how to execute it, and uh, demonstrate it through a sample mission. The WRCS is controlled by this panel at the uh, Wizzo's station. The two values we're most interested in inputting for Shrike mission is this altitude and the function button, both of which I'll discuss later on in this video. The primary purpose of using the WRCS is to compute the target location. To do this, we'll have to input a number of values into the system. The first one, first known one, is through the INS, the WRCS knows our location. It also knows our altitude in feet above sea level from the aircraft avionics system. We will input the target altitude using the WRCS uh, control box. And in conjunction with this and the aircraft pitch attitude, we will be able to determine the distance from our aircraft to the SAM target location. Having derived this distance, we will be able to figure out the target location, which will aid the Shrikes in uh, targeting the threat. The primary pilot input into the WRCS is to use the attitude indicator in conjunction with the flight director to establish the proper azimuth and pitch so that the aircraft is pointed at your threat. This means flying the aircraft to align the flight director needles with the top of your aircraft symbol. Example on the right shows a crew that is below and to the left of the desired pitch and course. The more precisely you can fly the aircraft, the better your target location computation will be. To use the Shrike with the F4E, there's two things we have to know. First off, what is the target? And secondly, what is the altitude of the target? Best to use a precise altitude if that's not available, well, it can use an average for the area where the target is located. Today's target is an SA-8 parked on a road, escorting a convoy of other vehicles at an altitude of 4,646 feet. So let's set up for the attack. I like using this kneeboard uh, checklist page which I found on the DCS website, and there will be a uh, description in the comments. The first item we'll talk about is the ground crew. When you're on the ground before takeoff, you should know what you're going after, and you'll have to select the proper guidance kit for your threat system. In this case, we are going against an SA-8. I loaded the Mark 49 Mod 1s, which should be able to target the tracking radar with an oral tone in the direct mode. In the back seat, we'll have to set the altitude. As I said before, the target altitude is 4646. 46. And you'll be able to do it in 50 foot increments, I believe. The other thing I'd like to do is put this switch in the uh, ARM 45, AGM 45 mode. I do not know if that uh, has any effect, but I do it anyway. Jump back into the front seat. We we'll want the pilot sight mode in air to ground. I like to dial in 45 mils. I believe this bore sights your sight a little bit closer to where the nose is actually pointing. Should have no effect for uh, WCRS though. We'll be in the direct, or I'm sorry, the AGM45 delivery mode with arm selected 
down on the lower center console we will want to place this switch here in the DF reject the reason we put this in the DF reject is in the normal direct mode the Shrike is doing the targeting when we put this to DF reject that takes the Shrike out of the targeting computations and allows the WRCS to compute the threat location I'll put the flight director using this switch on select our stations like I said just like uh, before in the direct mode I like to arm all the stations it's going to take more than one missile even to affect a uh, surface to air threat as small as a gecko place the master switch to arm you can hear the tone already and we'll talk about the employment mode this is a critical part of the employment which is basically your uh, angle of attack indicator located up here as a pilot you want to be above 10,000 feet we are we're like 25,000 feet we'll want to point the nose directly at the emitter which is indicated by this vertical bar on the flight director we will want to center the needles on the ADI which means in this case we'll have to lower it a little bit once we're within range or if we have a pull-up cue on the angle of attack indicator We'll press and hold the bomb release. As we get closer, this pull-up cue should turn to a level cue. At that time, we will want to pitch the nose back to a level attitude. As required, increase the pitch, but slowly. Uh, usually, you'll get missile launch at less than 5 degrees. Um, so again, pull-up cue, pull-up steady rotation back to the horizon, and if you need to, a low climb. Once you're level, the uh, level cue will come on. You maintain that level status. It'll take about five seconds for the missiles to release. If you're very close to the target, you may get the dive command. In other words, you're on top of the target that wants you to lower the nose. Again, you'd lower the nose, get the level cue. Five, missile launch approximately after five seconds. Oh, a couple other things to note here before we get started. Notice the miles on your BDHI it's set at 30 uh, with a heading off the nose the 30 is the default value for the WRCS if you're beyond 30 or you're within 30 and it does not know what the the SAM location is it'll stay at 30 once it computes the SAM location you'll see this distance change to reflect its computed position um, also the other thing is we have unknown threats I'll go ahead and push that button that'll call them up and we have two I believe that's the search radar and the tracking radar off the gecko so let me take it off pause and we'll press on in so I'll fly the aircraft to center the aircraft uh, symbol on the flight directors the fluctuation in the horizontal display, I believe, is because the radar is rotating and not continuously painting our aircraft. Notice on the BDHI that the distance has dropped to about 10 nautical miles. And if I look at the heading cue, that is where its computed position for the threat to be. Notice how I raise and lower my nose. That value changes, so I need to be very accurate with the value. Again, the vertical cue will not be accurate unless the wings are level. Got the pull-up command. I'm going to pull up, hold the butt, bomb button down, pull up to the horizon. The WRCS will compute, and when in range, we'll get the level command, magnum times four. That's a singer, 12 o'clock, SA-8, going a, 11 o'clock. Going evasive, chaffing, notching, and it looks like we've got good effect on the OSA. RWR displays have ceased and we've taken out a very dangerous target. Again, as in our previous video, the Shrikes were not a very effective uh, weapon system. No country that used them 
achieved more than a 25% success rate. My personal experience is after hours and hours of practice, I have probably gotten up to about a 75% success rate against an individual target in favorable terrain. If you want to be effective with the Shrek, you're going to have to practice. Again, big shout out to my fellow Green Reaper at Dark who laid the groundwork for this presentation. Thanks again, Dark.